What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, May 11th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeO so that you can get yourself $25 on your first deposit. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10. Grayson Allen, Jordan Poole, Marcus Smart, Clay Thompson, and Drew Holiday on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, I'm going to Draymond Green. He's power forward center, eligible 6K, projected for 33 and a half. The goal is 35 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 51% of the time. That means five guys north of 50%. 33 minutes for Draymond here. He's a fantasy point per minute, and you know you're going to get a little bit of everything. 14% usage, 8 points, 8 boards, 7 assists, and 2.5 and stocks. This dude just has really unique stat lines. The massive pace up spot for Golden State. That's what happens when you get to take on Memphis. They are the favorites. Golden State favorites in Memphis trying to close it out, and I expect them to be able to do so. So go ahead and grab yourself some Draymond Green. I know no one is going to want to do this, but number four, Dylan Brooks, shooting guard, small forward, eligible 5,600, projected for 34. The goal is 33. He's in the optimal lineup 59% of the time. I mean, he played bad, but he played a ton of minutes, and you can't really get away from that. 36 minutes here again for Brooks, and certainly upside to play more. Around 0.9 fantasy points per minute. He's going to take a ton of shots, and he's going to be inefficient when he does so. You just hope he's slightly more efficient than normal. 28% usage. 20 and a half points, four and a half boards, three assists, and a stock and a half here for Brooks. Look, you get a great position, you get a great price, you get great minutes, and you don't have John Morant around. No matter how it has looked in the past, I'm still going to Dylan Brooks today. In at number three, we've got Desmond Bain, shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 6,100, projected for 36. The goal is 36, and he's in the optimal lineup 60% of the time. Full stop right away. I gave him 34 minutes. I tried to discount him a little bit here, but I think he can play more minutes. I just don't know how hurt he is, and I don't know how to quantify someone's injury. That's impossible to me. So if you think that 35.7 fantasy points for Bane is too many, discount that slightly for yourself and figure out where you think that injury lands him. But I can tell you this much. Even if you take a point or two points, or even three points away from Desmond Bain for his projection, he's still in this top 10 list because of his position and because of that price tag. You gotta take a lot away from him for him to fall below Jordan Poole or Grayson Allen at the bottom of my top 10. So 34 minutes for Bain, around a fantasy point per minute, 23% usage, 19, six, three and a half, and close to two stocks. But again, we don't know how healthy Bain is. This is a closeout game. This could be the end of it all. But I am still going to Desmond Bain today. And number two, we get our obvious payup option. That is Giannis. Power forward, small forward, eligibility, 11,500. No one has his ceiling. It's not even really close. Projected for 66 and a half. The goal is 65 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 66% of the time. 40 minutes here for Giannis, which is what we saw in the previous matchup. 1.66 fantasy points per minute. 33 13 and a half, nine assists, and two and a half stocks. If you guys need convincing on why Giannis is a good play, you're probably not, uh, you probably shouldn't be playing DFS today because he's Giannis and he's exceptional. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using that promo code AWESOMO. No surprises here. Your number one contender is very easily Tyus Jones. Point guard eligible, 5,700. Projected for 37 and a half. The goal just 33 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 74% of the time. He played 40 minutes the last time out. I gave him 38 in this one. Right around a fantasy point per minute. 17% usage, 14 points, five boards, almost nine assists, and nearly two steals. This one's just really easy, and he pairs really well with Giannis. We're going to do the same thing that we did two nights ago, only Tyus Jones is just going to be slightly more expensive. But even with the increased price tag, nothing changes. Tyus Jones is your number one contender for today. 
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, May 11th. DraftKings and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.